this is a Holder C70. It is it, right now. It's got a setup with the rotary broom and a brine or water tank that holds a hundred gallons. Um, as we look at the, uh, this tractor, we see that it, it is an articulating piece of equipment, and it also oscillates. Um, it has two articulating. Uh, we uh, cylinders that help it articulate and give stability on it. It's got a four four wheel motor on each wheels that gives it power um, and traction according to the elements that we find in that we, we could be find ourselves in um, as, as we walk around it also it is it also oscillates at 12 degrees so it gives you the flexibility of, of keeping all wheels on on the uh, on the ground at all times with a pendulum um, there in the center that is hydraulically assisted that puts pressure on whatever wheel could, could be off the ground bringing it back down to the ground to give it great traction on the piece of equipment the other aspect of it is the cab um, if you look inside the cab it is if you look uh, a little bit tight from the outside then looking within you see it's got uh, it is a uh, pretty spacious in it it's got a three-point uh, three axis, it's got one door, another door, and if it, this uh, tractor was ever to flip, you also have an escape from the front. Windows all the way around, so you have great visibility all around the, the tractor. Coming to the front, we see um, it's got a three-point hitch with a PTO, a mechanical PTO coming straight off the engine um, to give great uh, power if, if the PTO is needed or any attachment that's a three-point hitch attachment can be attached to this piece of equipment. You have three uh, uh, hydraulic circuits that are completely um, uh, workable from within the cab. The really, they're all color-coded, so you have your black couplers, you have your green ones, and you also have your blue ones. And those are, are according uh, in with the joystick, so they're all controllable to whatever you have the attachment you have connected to the, to the uh, hydraulic connections here. You also have your low flow, which puts out 35 liters per minute, and you have your high flow, which this rotary boom right now is connected to the high flow. Both the low and the high, the 35 and the 70 liters, um, is completely variable and adjustable from within the cab. So you can, and the, the high flow goes with your, your R, engine RPMs. So you can, you can adjust it as, as needed from within the cab. Uh, coming around here, the other, one more thing from this side while we're here is um, you'll see these uh, two buttons here. So putting on attachments or taking off attachment could be a one-man uh, 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 functionality operation. Um, the, the operator can uh, lift the front uh, arms right from here, lift them or, or drop them um, to put on and off attachment. You don't need nobody else. You can do it with one, one person. Uh -huh. So uh, the, the, this uh, Holder tractor does have a 17 gallon diesel tank engine, um, which will burn about 1.5 uh, gallons per hour, running at about 1600 RPM. Just to give us an idea of the fuel consumption of it. Definitely you can get a, a whole day of work with one fuel tank uh, uh, on it. Um, it, does, it is a 2.6 uh, diesel engine Kubota. Uh, six, uh, 65 horsepower, uh, no depth. It does. It is a three-gen uh, piece of equipment um, on it, and um, it is all-wheel drive vehicle, um, hydrostatic drive, um, just to give uh, all the, the traction power that is needed. They have four individual wheel motors, hydraulically driven, on it. Top speed on it from point A to P 